Okay, we're ready to start. Um, to the press and to all the community members, to the families whose loved ones have been murdered by the police. We thank you for struggling. We thank you to continue to fight. Justice delayed is justice denied. And we have been denied justice in the black and brown community. I heard Reverend Christopher Muhammad of the Nation of Islam say, and dealing with the toxicity planned in Bayview, that there is a dark, holy alliance in San Francisco. And we are here to say, D.A. Gosco, he is under a dark, holy alliance with San Francisco PD. Gascon is a DA for cops. He comes from a cop background. He represents cops. He is not the people's DA. He comes from LA with the LA Police Department, La Mesa, Arizona with their police department, San Francisco Police Department, and within eight years of his tenure, he has not filed one charge on any police officer. If you read the report on Mario alone, I haven't read the report on Gangara, but if you read the report on Mario, there is a lot of substantial evidence in that report. DA Gascon came and said that he is under the law to use use of force when there's a reasonable doubt. But how can you shoot at someone 26 times and call that reasonable? And we say no more. We say, DA Gascon, you got to go. Let me hear the choir behind me. DA Gascon, you got to go. DA Gascon, DA Gascon, so we are here to say you will not be reelected in the city and county of San Francisco. We need someone here who's not only going to represent law enforcement, but also going to represent the people, black and brown communities of San Francisco. We're not taking anything less than that. We're not taking anything less than that. We're not supposed to. The golden city by the bay. The racist city by the bay. And now I would like to bring up my friend, my sister, Mario Woods' mother, Gwen Woods. Yeah. All right now. I'm here to tell you, when I started this, this is the way I'm going to go out on this. I emphatically, irrevocably disagree. Because why the media reported like I was okay with this? I'm not okay with this, Gascon. It's reprehensible what he did to Mario. It's like the, the 12th became December 2nd, 2015. He executed him all over again. I'm going to always say this. He was the best of me. People ask. He had empathy. That's why. He would have been in that situation and he would have said, guess what? Let's try and talk him off the ledge. No, you guys didn't. Because you're so full of hate. I'm going to say this. Wasn't the right call. You got bullies with pending investigations. A mother came to me right after they shot Mari in the back of the head and said the officer had shot her baby. She, but he's alive. He was one of the officers for Mario. Why are you policing me in my community and you hate me? Mm. It'll never turn out well for me. It'll never turn out well for me. You're, if you're that scared of me, don't police me. That's right. 
Because it's never going to turn out well. I never said their names until today. Winston Cito, Antonio Santos, Scott Phillips, Charles August, Nicholas Quaver, Scott Phillips, you may have gotten an off on this one, but there's a higher judge, and trust I'm praying that you get yours. Mario didn't deserve that. He did not deserve that. How we still have racists on this police department that may be across the street. And if you block about my baby or my family, we gonna have an issue. I'm gonna tell you now. I gotta learn now. God, how to wrap my mind around this. I've been saying every day, how do I live my life without this kid? He was the best to me. Why? He had empathy. If you were hungry, he'd bring him to the house, feed him, mom. You were cold, he'd give an extra coat. He should have been able to go through it. But my question is, why shake my head? Because you guys are ill-equipped, improperly trained. Because if you guys can apprehend white boys or European boys that look like they're European and they go in schools and annihilate and execute and assault and you give them bulletproof vest and Burger King yeah. and you apprehend rapists right. and the judge says they get to do six months. Right. But black and brown and poor, You've already came in my city and you made a judgment call. I heard him say they had to stop people. They had to stop Mario. No, they didn't because they just went ballistic with the gun when our babies were coming home from school. That's, right. That's a lie. That's right. They saw him, like I said, on the second of December 2015, they saw him as nothing or nobody, or that nobody loved him. Let me tell you, I love that kid. And he was worth me fighting for. He was the best of me. Something that you all can use on this police before, but you can't, because your race is full of hate. Empathy. Mario deserved a little empathy. Yes, yes. He was 5'5". Five, five, yes, yes. 5'6". Yes, five, five, yes. Just this taller than me. Yes. And you lied on his autopsy. Wasn't a 5'6". It's just because you planned it that he would be more dehumanizing right. and a menace when you take it into court. Right. Yes, yes, you, yes. Take your time. Winston Cito, Antonio Santos, Charles August, Nicholas Cueva, Scott Phillips, you didn't get off, there's a higher judge. I'm gonna rely on all my faith, the faith of my father, the faith of this one God that I always grew up on. The God of Jacob, Esau and Isaac, you didn't dodge a bullet, trust, trust. Right this wrong, I'll give it to God then, because you couldn't give it to this lousy DA. That's right, that's, that's right. right. Had to come out the gates and explain to my son, they were beast, mom. That's what they see when they see around that video. They weren't human. They were beast. Let's call it what it is. You're a beast full of hate and malice and menace. digest this. This man gave me a pill to digest without water and I'm choking on it. I am choking on it. Today I wish we were a city like Ferguson. Don't let those hate mongers go back in my community. A community of black and poor. Don't let them go because it doesn't turn out right.
Don't get my story nonchalantly. Anyone saw that video and said it was okay, they were in their rights. There's no soul in you. There's no compassion or no decency, no moral compass. Everything that this police department is, they have reflected it. Thank you. 